In this video, we're going to take a look at how to find slope between two points on a graph. Slope is always considered to be the letter M in our equations. And slope is the change in Y, or delta Y, divided by the change of X, also known as the rise, so you're up and down, divided by the run which is your left and right. So let's look at, a, at an example. If I'm given two coordinate points, let's say that one there and this one here. One thing to make this easier, I'm always going to look from left to right. So I'm going to look at the point on the left, and I'm going to go to the point on the right. That's going to help out with our with the run part of the rise over run. So when I look at the change of y, to get from this point to the point on the right, I'm going to have to go down two units. Down on your coordinate plane is negative. So that is a negative 2 for my change in y. My change in x, which is the run, is now going to the right three units. Since I'm always going left to right, this value here will always be positive if I'm going left to right. So my slope for these two points is going to be a negative two-thirds. If I look at another example, let's say I have a point here and a point over here. Again, going from left to right, my change in y is going to go up 5 units. Uh, up is positive, so my change in y is 5. My change in x is going left to right, also 5 units which means the slope is 5 over 5. Anytime you can reduce the slope, you want to. 5 divided by 5 is 1 over 1, which we always just write as a 1. I'll go through two more examples. On this next example, my change in y, starting from the point on the left, I'm going down 8. Again, down is negative. And I'm going to the right, 4. So my change in x is 4. Negative 8 divided by 4 can be simplified down to negative 2. So the slope is negative 2. And the last example, change in y is going up 6, up is positive, and to the right 4 for a change of x of 4. So my slope is 6 over 4, which will now reduce down to 3 over 2. Now you may notice the line that goes through that, if I look at a slope triangle of up 3 to the right 2, it also goes through that point. So that's why the slope triangle of 6 over 4 can also be the same thing as 3 over 2.